Hey guys, uh, we're going to be on page 203, uh, lesson 9, session 2, and we're going to be trying to figure out how to get this equation, y equals mx plus b. So we're just kind of building on what we did last time. So we've got Ramona here, and she has a new job as a chef. She earns the same amount per hour, but got a $100 sign-on bonus. So we see over here, and I'm sorry about the lighting, I'm trying to make it a little better. But it's kind of just going to be off a little bit. So we've got uh, line P here, this blue line, and we've got line Q. So this is her old job, this is her new job. And what we need to do is we need to write an equation for both of them. So uh, I kind of already worked through this one a little bit, um, but I looked at 1 and went up and noticed that it didn't cross perfectly, so I just went to 2. I noticed this point does and it crosses at 20. So what I did was, I said I need to know the dollars per hour, okay, y over x, and that was 20 over 2, which equaled $10 per one hour. All right, so now if I wanted to write an equation, I would talk like y equals mx, where m is the slope. So all I have to do is just write y equals, and then put my slope in, which was 10, and then just put x. So this would be the equation for uh, the blue line, line P, her old job. All right. So now, how can we use that equation to uh, write a new uh, equation for line Q? Well, you'll notice just by looking at them that P and Q go up by the same amount. They look like they have the same slope, right? And that makes sense because it says she makes the same amount uh, per hour. So what I would do is I would say, well, let's just start with y equals 10x. Because um, the slope is the same. So that 10x kind of just gets us going in the same direction. Now the difference is, kind of where they started, right? So this one starts at 0, 0, kind of a proportional relationship, but this one's starting way up here at 100. So that's where this plus B part comes in, okay? So that plus B is what we call our Y-intercept. It's gonna be something you wanna write down there, our Y-intercept. So we look at where it crosses the y-axis, and it crosses at 100. So since it crosses at 100, I'm going to put plus 100 at the end. So this is our equation for p, and this is our equation for q. All right, and then let's go ahead and turn the page, and let's go look at some look at some other things here. So uh, just a couple of quick things is you can use a transfer map, transformation to map line P onto line Q. If we just translated this up, it would fall perfectly right on that, okay? And then like I was saying, where those lines meet right here on the, the y-intercept, that's a really key piece of this equation as we move forward, okay? And another thing that I want to take a look at is down here where we used this formula. So we took two points, 0, 0, and 2, 20. Remember that every point is made up of an x and a y. So x and y, x and y. And since this is the first point, I'm calling this x and y sub 1. And since this is the second one, we're calling it x and y sub 2. And then we can just plug those in. So we would put 20 right there minus the y1, which is 0. So 20 minus 0 is 20 over, and then we would take our x sub 2, which is there, put it here, and 2 minus our x sub 1, which is 0. 2 minus 0 is 2, so we would get 20 over 2, which is 10, okay? So that's our equation for p, and then it talks about how line q needs to include the hourly earnings, which is the 10, but also that $100 sign-on. That's why we have that plus 100 there at the end. All right, now let's answer some questions here. 
Uh, so it says, we, we already talked about this, describe how to map line P onto line Q. Well, we already talked about how we could just translate it, right? We can just take it and we can slide it up. So uh, translate up, and we would have to go up 100. I know it doesn't look like that in, in the graph. It looks like maybe we only go up one, two, three, four, five. But each of those five moves is worth 20 a piece, and that's why we get that 100. And then what does the y-intercept of the line Q represent? Well, we talked about that also. That represents the $100 sign-on bonus she received. Okay, So that just represents the $100 sign-on. All right, next we've got, how are the equations for Ramona's earnings at the old job and the new job alike? So old job looked like this, y equals 10x, and then the new job was y equals 10x plus 100. So we can see right here, how are they alike? Well, they're making $10 per hour in both of them. Okay, so they're, they're exactly the same up to this point. But then once we add in that plus 100, that plus 100 is what makes them different, okay? Her sign-on bonus for her new job is what makes it different, okay? All right, next, a linear equation describes a straight line. It can be written in slope-intercept form. So this y equals mx plus b is called slope-intercept form, and that's where m so this M here is the slope, and B is the y-intercept. The equation for line Q is shown over here. Um, write the equation for line P in slope-intercept form. All right, so this is her new job, y equals 10x plus 100, where we have the slope and the y-intercept. So we're going to do the same thing for this line P here. Well, we already know this part of it, y equals 10x, because we've been talking about that the whole time. But now let's talk about what we add to it. So for this one, for her new job, we put plus 100 because it crossed at 100. Well, let's look at where p crosses the y-axis. It crosses way down here at 0, all right? So we would put plus 0 at the end because that's where it crosses. All right. Then it says, you can also use the slope formula to derive the slope-intercept form of a linear equation. Use the slope formula to find the slope between 0, b, the y-intercept of the line, and then x, y, any other point on the line, then solve for y. So this is, we're using 0, b as a point, and we're using x, comma, y as a point. Um, so I'm going to call this x1 and y1, and then I'm going to call this x sub 2 and y sub 2. All right, so then I'm just going to put those into our uh, slope formula, which is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. All right, so my y sub 2 is just y, and then I have to keep the minus, and then I do my y sub 1, which is B. All right, so then uh, on the bottom I have my x sub 2, which is x, and then minus my x sub 1, which is 0. So when I do that, I get m is equal to y minus b over, and x minus 0 is just x. Now it says uh, to solve for y. Okay, so what we're going to do is we have, let's see, we have m equals y minus b over x. Now we have to solve for y, so we have to get y by itself. So I'm going to need some more room here. I'm going to actually rewrite it over here. So m equals y minus b over x. Well, to get y by itself, I have to get rid of this x, so I'm going to multiply both sides by x. All right, because that's going to cancel this, and I'm going to get over here mx 
because m times x is just mx, and then I have y minus b. And then I need to get rid of this minus b, so I'm just going to add b to both sides. So these cancel, and I get y by itself, and on this side I have mx, and then I have this plus b. So if we turn this around, we would see y equals mx plus b. Woo, that's a lot of work to figure out this equation, all right, this uh, slope-intercept form. But you can see that it does, does work there, okay? And then uh, that's going to be it for today. We'll do the next parts in class. So thanks for watching, guys.